a result of concerns of UNEP's work in Agoniland and due to delays arising from the slow pace of work in the Gokana area, whereas reconnaissance and ground truthing has already been completed in Eleme, Thai and Kana local government areas, where the scientific phase is already advancing, the project coordinator of UNEP's assessment of Ogoniland project, Mr. Mike Cowan and the UNEP team, visited the local government chairman of the Gokana local government area at the local government council on the 3rd of June 2010. UNAP heard earlier in its report to the Presidential Implementation Committee on the 25th of February 2010 expressed concern about the continuous discovery of new spills in the Gokana region. If the phenomenon that we are seeing in the field of not historical oil spills, new spills coming up, new spills November, December, January, this phenomenon is ongoing. This means that we will never finish the reconnaissance phase. UNEP like to invest in sustainability, but not this kind of sustainability. The project will never end. We'll keep going after all the spills. There has to be a solution to this problem. This phenomenon was identified by the River State Governor, Right Honorable Rotimi Chibike Amechi, within the PIC meeting as emanating from illegal bunkering activities within the region. This raised fresh concerns and it led to the state government convening a meeting with all Ogoni leaders and elders to map out strategies to effectively combat this menace. And they have agreed that we must stamp out the bunker. Not just because we want to get to bring the government, but also it has all this effect on the economy of the Ogoni kingdom and we need to put the kingdom forward. So, we, we agreed, and what we did now is to set up a committee that will enforce it. It's not a matter of uh, political meeting, we just talk and we don't do anything. During the visit by the UNEP team, the local government chairman decided to go with the team into the field to see things firsthand. At the jetty, black smoke was sighted all over the horizon, which made the team to take a closer look by going on the waterway. As far as the eye could see, the vegetation and the mangrove was smeared in oil. This led to the discovery of ongoing massive illegal bunkering and refining of petroleum products harvested from existing wellheads and pipeline that may have been vandalized. On sighting the team, most of the perpetrators fled into the bush, leaving behind their trade tools. The environmental cost and cost of health of those involved in illegal bunkering through risk of accidents, fires, explosions and inhalation of toxic smoke can be several. Oil can even be absorbed through the skin. These are just some of the health risks posed by such activities. Illegal bunkering or oil theft, as is popularly known, is still on the high side in the Ogoni region. Till this root cause is addressed, it will be difficult for the assessment to be completed. Yeah.